Okay. First of all, let me apologize to all the kayak fishing fans out there. Um, I know there's probably a handful of you that have joined my channel because of the kayak related uh, fishing videos. Um, but I'm sad to say that the Predator 13 is getting sent down the road. She's up for sale right now and I don't know, just time to move on. So that's the story about that. The kayak is gone. I know, it's all right. Made a lot of good videos with it, how to's, things like that. But the main reason I'm getting rid of the kayak is because of this. That's right. Picked this thing up the other day. I got a really good deal on it. A friend of ours was selling it and uh, it hadn't been run for a number of years and it was just kind of sitting around. So picked it up for a good price, I think. Um, and this is what we're gonna be using for, for a while. It's a 16 foot, it's a Polar Craft, and it's a side console. Got a live well, bait well, some storage up here. It's got three seats, things like that. But as you can see, I've been working on it and stuff. I think it's gonna be a good change to the channel. I might be able to use it a little bit this fall, though. Um, as you can tell, there's no trolling motor on here at all, um, so. We'll probably be doing a little bit of lead core trolling uh, with the rod holders that I have not installed yet. This boat has nothing in it basically at all. So I took all my stuff off my kayak the other day and mounted up the fish finder, the Helix 7, routed the cables up through and they go all along here and I've had to splice in um, an extension here. So I'm gonna be working with that later and we're gonna run that down to uh, a battery for the fish finder. So this video we're gonna just try to figure out how we can hook that to that without using this. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you can mount it directly to the hull. You can screw right into it and mount it right there. Um, but I'm gonna go a different route. It might be a little bit more complicated but in case I ever want to change transducers or move it around. I'm not going to be punching a bunch of holes in my boat. And actually this way, you're not going to punch any holes in your boat. Go to your local uh, boat shop and they should be able to give you a piece of, or you can buy a piece of, uh, it's called starboard. And it's basically like a cutting board. You can use a cutting board if you want to. Um, you can go to Home Depot and just get some uh, high density plastic type outdoor material. Um, this is half inch thick. Basically you just cut it to the size that you want and we're going to glue this with this 3M 5200 marine adhesive. I'm kind of in a bit of a predicament down here about where I want to mount this because I've got a bunk right here and if you look under the boat there's a rib up here, there's a rib here, and there's a bunch of rivets everywhere and I kind of want to stay clear of where this rib runs out because it's probably going to cause a lot of bubbles and disturbance and uh, frig up my signal so you really want to get where the water is going to be the smoothest coming out from the bottom of the boat so if you can find a nice flat spot like this all the way up through you'd want to mount it there um, depending on what type of transducer you have and then I'm kind of in a predicament here about these rivets so I need to cut the piece either to go around the rivets or I might drill some recessed holes on the back side of the rivets and then that way my square piece of starboard can fit over there and look pretty nice. So uh, what I'm going to do is cut this right now. I'm going to just use a circular saw to the uh, width that I want and then we're going to check out and see how that works, how that fits. <laughs> So I just marked where that rivet hits this, so I'm just going to countersink a little hole in this. I'm going to drill a bit. See, I just countersunk a nice little hole in there with that rivet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this on there with some tape, kind of outline it with a pencil, see where it's going to sit, countersink kind of sunk two holes in there and then we'll see uh, get some glue on there and touch her off 
Okay, so that was pretty easy. Uh, just gonna mark it out a little bit and then glue her on. Okay, moment of truth. Cures in 24 hours, so you got some time to let it set up. I got the white, that's all I had, but. Well, that's what I did. I tried not to get it real close to the edges because it's going to square it out and flatten out quite a bit. So we'll see how much of a mess this makes. Oh no, kind of nervous. It's all right though. Actually goes on pretty good. It's got a nice like suction to it when you really get it on there. I'm gonna try to wipe some of that stuff off the top. That looks better. sagging. Make sure it's all kind of level on the bottom, which it is. But you can see I've got a little bit of a gap underneath. Just for a little bit of a room, room for air there. Because this thing can hang down below that. I want to add a little bit of pressure against that to keep it against the boat to really squish that in there. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking this piece of wood I had laying up here and I'm running it through that strap and I cranked it down nice and tight. I'm going to put this up against the piece and then put the other strap on this side, crank it down so hopefully it puts a lot of pressure on that. So let's try that real quick. Well, I think that's going to work all right. It kind of popped the top open a little bit, but it made the bottom squish really tight up against and it kind of squished out some of the some of the glue, so that'll work all right. I can end up cutting out that glue after so it's not so messy looking, but that should work, and then I think I might just take a little bit of uh, caulking after and just go along the top so it doesn't, so it looks a little bit more seamless, but should be all right. Sweet, that'll work. It's the next day here, and uh, I'm gonna take this board off, see how she looks. Yeah, it really doesn't look too bad. Got nice and squished up in there along the bottom. I bought some black caulking that I thought I might run along the top of that to kind of fill in the gap, but it's really only a little bit of a gap right there. I might do it. I might do it just to kind of clean it up a little bit. It really doesn't need it because this is, I mean, this thing is on there. Oh, you can't even move the moving the whole boat so yeah it went on really good I'm just gonna run some of this it's just uh, outdoor uh, waterproof black silicone so I'm just gonna kind of go around the edge of it so that actually came out pretty good pretty clean looking just kind of filled in that top gap that was over here and uh, yeah yeah that should work looks pretty good drill a couple pilot holes and put that transducer in Here's my mounting plate here, um, and I've realized that because there's a rib here and a rib here, I actually kind of want to be right where this bunk is, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, I'm thinking I can be up a little bit higher above that, so it's not going to even hit the bunk when we take it on and off, um, and I can move it around either way if it doesn't end up working, but I think that's the best spot for it to be, so we're going to try that. and. Uh, Gonna drill a couple little pilot holes smaller than my screws. All right. 
right, so there's one more shot of it all done. You can see the silicone that I put on there. It's all dry now. Uh, looks pretty good, and uh, I've got a couple different places I can I can move it around if I want. I'm gonna see how that goes. I've got it uh, fairly level with the bottom of the boat right now. I might adjust the uh, angle of it uh, later on, but that's all set. And uh, I might anchor these down once I get it set to the right position with just some st stick-on clip things. Um, other than that, she's ready to go with the fish finder. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time for the next mod that we do on the boat. Alright, we'll see you guys later.